A few years ago, I had everything a successful Western adult is supposed to have. A house, a well-paid job, long-term relationship. I even had a cat. And looking back, I can barely remember any of it. Every day was the same, just disappearing into the next. On my 25th birthday, I realized I was quietly depressed. Up until then, I just accepted that monotony was an integral part of life, that a week of work in exchange for a fulfilling weekend or holiday was a fair trade. But actually, I'd just become lazy. Eventually, I took a leap. I left everything I knew behind and set off in search of new adventures. I'm delighted to say that I found way more than I bargained for. So, I have this project called Expedition 1000. The idea is to do 25 different journeys of 1,000 miles or more, each one using a different form of non-motorized transport. It all started off in 2006 with a 3,618 mile journey across Australia on a skateboard, and after that I got my first book deal and never really looked back. The second journey was a couple of years later, in a kayak down the Murray River, and that trip nurtured in me a love for travelling on water that always has me thinking about rivers. Then, in 2011, my friend Seb and I rode a tandem bike from Vancouver to Vegas, and later that year I headed off to the source of the Mississippi. Although that was a solo trip and unsupported in the sense that I carried my own gear, it was an experience completely made by other people. Strangers are just friends waiting to happen, and those 2,404 miles by stand-up paddleboard were endlessly formative. I was a different bloke by the time I reached the goal. From the fresh perspective of sailing the Pacific to facing up to my mortality when riding a bike car from Memphis to Miami, jumping right into the Missouri and learning to swim during the first of those 58 days, literally immersed in a really, really tough expedition, and then crossing Europe on an elliptigo. I'm now over eight years down the road from my former life, but I feel like things are just getting started. All those years ago, from the outside my life must have looked great. I had all the trappings, but there's a reason they call them trappings. It would have been so much easier to stay and let comfort kill my ambition than to start that daunting task of building a new, happier life. Man, I'm glad I chose the hard way. I feel like I have a purpose now. I'm directed not just by Expedition 1000, but by a daily willingness to say yes more, and that simple act of not being afraid to fail, knowing that if I fail, I'll just learn more. It makes the decision to do something different or something potentially scary much easier. There are hundreds of reasons why adventure is important. Constantly pushing yourself to go further and feeling that connection to nature that's so easily lost in a man-made environment. It provides a natural resilience. And yes, while staying healthy and raising a million for charity is a small part of it, just to be able to look after myself, and if I can't, to be able to trust in the kindness of others. I know that if I'm open to change, things will just work out. It seems that these days the simple act of wonder is now reserved only for children, and I'm determined not to forget that joy I felt as a kid is still allowed, even as I start working my way through my 30s. We've done it! I'm at the sea! These guys are from China, how cool is that? 1,000 miles in! Yes! It's also lovely to avoid those serious restrictions that we seem to grow up surrounded by. I don't see any bites on you. Well, thank you for looking yeah. closely. That's very good of you. I love that freedom to be as silly as I like without expectation and judgment. <laughs> Rip curl, the flip-flop of choice for frogs. I guess if I need to give one reason why I live like this is that I'm trying to fulfill my potential. Every time we do something new, we grow. And I can dream and aspire and wish and hope as much as I like, but without doing those new things, I'm never going to give myself a chance to be the man I could be. I don't know who that man is, but I feel like I owe it to myself to find out. Otherwise, what's the point in being able to develop if you don't allow yourself to? 
love this. This is amazing. At the end of it all, I'd like to be able to look back without wondering whether I could have done more with my time. And whether or not that's going to happen depends on me, entirely, right now. I made that change all those years ago in order to create a life that I'd remember someday, rather than one I'd just ease myself through and forget, simply because it wasn't memorable. It's easy to forget sometimes, but if we have control of anything, it's how we use our time. So let's start now. It doesn't have to be big, but do something new every single day. Be ambitious, be adventurous. Don't necessarily say yes to everything, you'll be too busy to live, but say yes more. It'll change your life. I know, because it changed mine. How do you use the bathroom? I disappear off into the bush. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have never in all my life seen a frog this small. It's incredible, how do you even function? I guess in many ways the journey is just about a little less conversation, a bit more action.